Hi guys, welcome back to the Home and Homestead. I'm Rebecca and today we'll be making a tasty meal that you can make for lunch or dinner called a deconstructed egg roll or an egg roll bowl. It's a really easy recipe. It's a great way to use up leftover vegetables in the refrigerator and it can be put together in just a few minutes. It has some wonderful flavors in it and we can make it in one pot using our instant pot today. So follow along while we make some deconstructed egg rolls. So first I have my six quart instant pot here and we'll plug it in. And what we're going to do is use the instant pot on saute mode. So I'll hit saute, it says normal, and it's set for 30 minutes of a saute mode. So first what we're going to do is brown some ground beef. You could also do ground turkey or chicken. So we'll let this ground beef brown a bit. And I'll come back for the next step. All right, so the ground beef has been browning for a few minutes now. So next I'll add about a teaspoon of a garlic pepper blend. You could also just do salt and pepper to taste with a little garlic powder. I like using Kinder's, the blend, it's a salt, pepper, and garlic seasoning. So add one teaspoon of that. Next, we'll add two cloves of garlic that's minced. If you use the pre-minced garlic, it's about a teaspoon. Next, we'll add a half of a cabbage that's been sliced up. So if you watched my corned beef and cabbage recipe, that's an example where I used half of a, of a head of cabbage, and now I have another half of cabbage that I would need to use up. So a recipe such as this would be good for that. Also add about one medium onion that's been diced up. Ends up being about a cup of diced onion. I will mix this through here. And my ground beef today was rather lean, so I'm going to add about a tablespoon of some avocado oil. You could also add about a tablespoon of, of olive oil. If you found your ground beef to be overly greasy, you could have drained some of that oil away. You want to leave two or three tablespoons of, a, of fat reserve in there. If not, you can add your own oil, such as I did today. Now I'll place the Instant Pot lid on and that'll just help the cabbage and the onion steam a little bit and we'll let this saute together until the cabbage has softened a little bit. Alright, the cabbage is starting to steam a little bit and soften slightly so now we'll add about two cups of a shredded or julienned carrot could use your food processor to shred your carrot or a mandolin. They also come pre-shredded. Let's mix that carrot through. Next we'll add one tablespoon of a ginger paste. If you don't have ginger paste or a fresh ginger, you could do about one teaspoon of a ginger powder. Now I'll add a quarter cup of coconut aminos. If you've never used coconut aminos before, this is the brand that I use. And it has kind of a teriyaki, sweeter soy sauce type of flavor profile. Next, we'll add one tablespoon of soy sauce. You could do soy sauce or you could also do a liquid aminos and that has a very similar flavor. And that'll give a nice saltiness to this dish. If you don't want it too salty you could leave that out as well. Next we'll add 
one tablespoon of rice vinegar. And now we'll cover it back up again and let the carrots and cabbage continue to steam through. Then I'll give it a final taste and see if it needs any more ingredients. I'm just going to add a few more dashes of the coconut aminos. And we'll stir this through. You could certainly do this on the stove top in a Dutch oven or something like that, but I like making this meal in the Instant Pot. Then I can put the lid on, press cancel, and do keep warm. And then we can have this whenever we're ready to eat. So I'll put it on keep warm for an hour, and then we can enjoy this whenever we're ready to eat. So now let me portion some of this out, and you can have a closer look at our deconstructed egg roll. All right guys, well here you have it. Here is our deconstructed egg roll, or our egg roll bowl. It was a really easy recipe to make in the Instant Pot, and it's very flavorful. You get all the nice flavors that you'd want from an egg roll. You can adjust this recipe to whatever ground meat you have on hand. You do ground beef, chicken, turkey, pork, or meat substitute. Or you can leave the meat out completely and make a vegetable egg roll as well. Let me take a little taste of this here. The cabbage and the carrots and onions are nice and tender and steamed. And the carrots still have their nice crunch. Now you could also top this with some wonton crisps or wonton strips. Keep watching and I'll show you how I make homemade wontons. We can make some other nice side dishes that will go well with a deconstructed egg roll. This would make a wonderful side dish, but this also makes a wonderful meal, which is what we will be doing today. We just eat it as is. You could serve this with rice or rice noodles, or some of my favorites are crab rangoons. Well, I hope you enjoyed our time together in the kitchen where we made this deconstructed egg roll dish. It was really easy to do in the Instant Pot, and you could certainly do this on the stove top as well. If you're new to the channel, welcome. And if not, thank you for joining me today again. If you haven't done so yet, I would appreciate you subscribing. And you can also check out some other videos I have on recipes, gardening, home decor, and organization. Well, hopefully this recipe today inspired you to give it a try yourself. Well, I hope you're having a fantastic day. See you next time. Take care.